Oh, let's see. Okay, I can't hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Okay, I need to yeah. do the the um attendance as people come in, so I'm getting acquainted. So you're Marcano. Marcano. Okay. okay. And I'm going to change this. Change your name to Lena. Uh huh. Yes. Okay, we've got Nancy. Uh huh. Oh, it's not me. You see, okay. Okay. All right. There we've got Lena named, and we've got Nancy on. Uh huh. Hello. Now, can you hear us? <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Okay, there's something we need to plan ahead on, and that is Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, Good evening. Yes. Next week, let's see. Let me get my calendar. Okay, next week would be the 17th. But the week after that would be Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. the day before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So do you want to try to have class or no? In my case, in my case, 24, no. Okay. Then so I, you know it, what, what about you, Lena? No. Okay. All right, then. Um, I just want to be sure to be here when you need me and I'm here to help you. I'm not here to help myself. So I want, I don't want to be the one who says we're going to do it or we're not going to. It needs to be everyone. So um, before we leave, be sure that I've asked everyone what uh, they want to do on the 24th, that would be Christmas Eve. And then think also about the following week, which would be New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. So um, those are the two times that we need to think about and decide on as a class, yes, we will, or no, we won't. No. So I was kind of expecting some more people by now. We had quite a few last week. We had five mm -hmm. last week. And you asked Nancy, and it's been very unusual when I've even had two. <laughs> <laughs> it's been very, very unusual. And it's been people's jobs and, you know, just different things. So, um, I can't get upset with someone who has to work. Uh, this one lady, she said, I think I'll be there. And then she would let me know maybe five minutes before I have not even home yet. So she has to get home to fix supper, you know, so um, it just doesn't work for her. <clears throat> not that she doesn't want to, 
it's a time factor. Okay. And then for us, we also have to have people that get up early and so they don't want to stay up late. So that makes a difference too. So we'll just try to do the best we can for everyone. Okay, well, I um, was getting everything ready. Um, I hurt my back. And so I haven't been doing it nearly as much as I was. I'm, I'm practically either just sitting in a chair or in bed. Mm -hmm. And um, so, but I, I had to get groceries. Here comes some more. I had to get groceries. So I am so thankful that we have this um, groceries where we can order the groceries and then just pick them up at the store. There's no way I could go around and just pick up five things. I just am not able to right now, but this is such a blessing. And I know people who have done it from the very beginning. Um, one couple, the man has some kind of a problem that um, he's, he's just very, uh, he's not strong um, and uh, just, it almost, I don't know if it happened suddenly or not, but he's just not strong and not able to do like he was. And so they just don't feel safe um, going and even her going and getting the groceries. They're just not sure that it's safe. So what happens is since the very beginning, they have done this with Kroger and it has been a uh, very successful for them. So uh, she teaches um, for the uh, Spanish classes. She teaches like level four or five. These are people who are just about ready to have a class of their own. They've learned that much. So um, let's see. Now, Concepcion, uh, you need, uh, we need to be able to hear us. Concepcion, we need to hear you. Okay, now we can see you. Um, you can leave it where we don't hear you just as long as we can hear you when we need to, okay? Um, what I was talking with Lena and Natalie is that next week is the 17th of December. Mm -hmm. The following week is Christmas Eve. And so oh, we need to decide tonight if the 24th of December and New Year's Eve which would be um, the 21st of December, we want to have class or no. No. It's completely up to you. Lena has already said no. Nancy has said no. So Juana, Juana do you have a? No. No. Okay, and so Concepcion, do you want to or no? That would be December 24th and December 31st. So it would be Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Now, if there's just one who wants to have class, I'd be glad to have class, but I don't want to set it up to have class and nobody show up. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we need to know as soon as possible, if you want to go. So um, Concepcion, right now, 
uh, you're the only one who hasn't said anything yes or no. So it's, it's up to you for you. Nobody else would be here those two nights. And then after that comes 2021 and a whole new year. And I don't have the, the times off in my head or anything, but it's, um, it's quite a while, be, you know, close to Easter when we have another time off. So just think about it and uh, pray about it and do what's best for you. Now, some, you know you want to be with your family. There's no way you would want to uh, come to class. Others, you don't have anything else, so you'd love to come to class. It's entirely up to you. I asked Nancy for months. Nancy would be my only student. Mm -hmm. And I got very acquainted <laughs> because it was just and I'm talking. So um, just think about that. Oh, and if I sneeze, I'm sorry. I've got the sneezes tonight. So please forgive me ahead of time. Okay, let's see. I need to mark Concepcion and Juana. All right. Um, I think we'll go ahead and start uh, Walter and Blanca. Um, it just, oh, well, Walter said that it would be next year before he would be able to come again. And then Blanca, um, she comes when she can, but most of the time she can't. Most of the time she'll think, I think I'm gonna be able to get off and come and then she wouldn't get finished in time to be able to get home and fix something for her daughter and her for <laughs> supper and come to class. So that, you know, I thoroughly understand, but um, it's one of those things, she works long, long days, so. I don't know what else we can do. Just when she can, we're glad to have her. And um, then let's see, um, Maria Quintero was here last week and I haven't seen her. And um, so that's all that's on the list so far. So we'll just see. Oh, and if I sneeze, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> it's just, I'm just having some problems, okay? But, you know, God is greater than my problems. So he can use even my problems to help us. So let's go to our um, memory verse. I don't see anyone else coming in right now. Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, come on. Stop. <sighs> My brain, she no worky worky. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I've ended up losing my,
Oh, well, just, just, just. I'm not going to worry about it, right? We'll just go ahead and do it. Um, the verse. I know I've just I've just messed everything up tonight. So Okay, I think this is our verse. Pray for one another. I definitely need that. So it's, it's very, very simple. Just pray for one another. And we can always pray that um, uh, we don't have to know that there's a, something wrong. We don't have to know that there is a need. Mm -hmm. All we really need to know is that the Lord put someone on our hearts and so we can pray for them. And so we can always pray for one another. And this is found in James verse 5, 16. 16. Oh, and I'm going to sneeze. I feel like, I feel like I've got a sneeze coming on. All right, so what page are we in the book? The what book? What page? What book? The El book. Uh -huh. okay. That's the workbook. So what about okay. the other book? Work or... Okay. Working book. And is... The workbook? No. Workbook. The book. This would be the workbook. Workbook. Okay. What page? Twenty-eight. Ah, uh, okay. Twenty-eight. Okay, you can. Page. The last, the last page is twenty-seven, right? Yes. Yeah. This is the last thing that we looked mm -hmm. at all the different yeah. blocks. Okay. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Okay, so now it's a bunch of conversations. Okay. All right. It looks like Concepcion is having some problems. She kind of comes and goes. I don't think it's one of her problems. I think it's um, just um, maybe her system or something like that. So Concepcion, I'm glad you're here when you're here. Just keep trying. If it keeps falling off, we'll just let you back in. Okay, on um, page uh, 28 mm -hmm. in the yes. book. 28. Okay, now this is, this is the gray one. This is this one. Yes. 28. 28. Okay, it says complete the sentences, use the words in the box. Mm -hmm. So in sentence one, there is a word filled in there. Mm -hmm. So who would read A 
there mm -hmm. for us. No. Hey, okay. what time is your English class? Yes, what time is your English class? Mm -hmm. Okay. Eat from one just to five? Just, just a minute. Okay. okay, so in that space in B, one of those words is going to go in there. Mm -hmm. So it says it's blank to one, um, it's blank, one to five. Mm -hmm. So what goes in there in part B? From. From. So it gives you the span of time from uh, the time the class starts at five till the class is over. I mean, from the time the class starts at one till the class is over at five. Mm -hmm. So how long actually is that? How many hours? One mm -hmm. to five. Yes. O'clock. How, how many hours? Ah. Two, four. three, four, four, five. Yes. Five. So it'd be four hours in actual time. All right. And then A asks a question. And what goes in that question mark? What time? Yes, what time? Time, that's right. What time is your break? Mm -hmm. That's all that could fit in there and make sense. What time is your break? And then B, what goes in that last space? It's at at 250. So it's specifying a specific time. And, and so break time would start at 2.15. So 1B would be it's from F-R-O-M 1 to 5. And then A, what time t-i-m-e is your break and then b it's at a t 215. okay mm -hmm. yes okay, any questions no question all right we have four people so we have four spaces mm -hmm. So, um, Nancy, you do number two A, and Juana, you do number two B, and Concepcion, you do number two A. This is the second A. And then Lena, you do two B, which is the second B. Okay. And think about what goes okay. in that space. Okay. Begin. So what, I'm, I'm ready. Is everyone else ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's in 2A, Nancy? What time is your English class? Is that what everyone else got? Now you need to fill these in because you're going to be using them in a little bit. All right, now Juana, B, 2B. It's, it's from 6 to Two nine o'clock. Yes, and it's the T O. Remember, there's three different words mm -hmm. um, that say two. That that's the sound. So you have to have the right one. Okay, and then Concepcion number two uh, A, the second two A. What time is your break? Yes. And so, Lena, number 2B. It is at 7.45. It is at 
Okay, is that what everyone else gets? Mm -hmm. huh? it, it, it is at 7.45. It's, it's 7.45, but yes. Mm -hmm. So the break is at 7.45. Mm -hmm. Okay, has everyone filled in those words? All right, so now then these are little conversations. Mm -hmm. So we'll just go through and um, Juana, you'll do one A, both A, both of the A's. Concepcion, you do one B, both of the B's. And then Lena and Nancy, you're going to do two. So you just read for this one. And Juana and Concepcion, um, you're going to read what it says there. So um, Juana, you start. Uh, yes, uh, the number one, right? Yes, ma'am. OK. Uh, what, what time is your English class? It is from um, one o'clock to on the five o'clock. Okay. What time is your break? It is, it is uh, at two fifty. Okay. Now, um, just a <laughs> sorry. Okay. That I T apostrophe S should be just pronounced it's. 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 It means it is. That's what it means. But we just pronounce it it's. It's another one of those crazy English things. So sometimes you just have to memorize it. Some mm -hmm. things make sense. And then there's English. OK. So now, Lena, you'll be A, and Nancy, you'll be B on part two. Uh, two? Yes, ma'am. Uh, what time is your English class? It's from six o'clock to nine o'clock. The second one, Lena. To a the second a. This second one down here. There are actually two. You're going to read what time is your English class? And then Nancy's going to read it's from six to nine. And then you're going to say, what time is your break? And then Nancy, what do you say to that? What's the second thing that Nancy says? It's what? Lina? Uh-huh. Usted tiene que repetir el número dos, la segunda A. La segunda A, OK. Sí. Del número dos, sí. Ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sí. What time is your break? It's at 7.45. What time is your break? It's at 7.45. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm sorry. There was a little confusion. I probably didn't make myself clear. All right. Any questions about any of this? No. All right. Then part B, it says play track 17, listen for the time circle A or B. Yeah. 
38. Exercise B. Listen for the time. Circle A or B. 1. What time is your English class? It's at 9.15. 2. What time is your break? It's at 10.40. 3. What time is your computer class? It's at 12.30. 4. What time is your break? It's at 2.45. Page 28. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time in case somebody missed something. Twenty-eight. Exercise B. Listen for the time. Circle A or B. One. What time is your English class? It's at 9.15. Two. What time is your break? It's at 10.40. Three. What time is your computer class? It's at 12.30. 4. What time is your break? It's at 2.45. Okay. So, um, number one, Concepcion, what answer did you get for that one? A. A. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. My hearing isn't too good either. And let me tell you, it gets really interesting trying to find the phone and things like that. Okay, did everybody get that? A. Okay, and number two, Lena. Uh, A. Ten. Forty. Forty. A. 2A, 10, and 40, 14. Lina, ¿cuál es, la, ¿cuál es la letra correcta? ¿La A o la B? Thank you. La A. La A es la correcta, ¿no? No. B. Ah, en la 2, en la 2. Sí. No, la correcta es la B. B. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. B. Ok. And number three, Nancy. Letter B, 1213. Letter B. 14, B. And Juana, number four. The number four is letter A. Okay, any questions? Okay, you hear how hard it is to make it clear whether you're talking about 1014 or 1040. It's, it's really difficult. Uh -huh. um, and the reason they do it, go over it more than once is because of that. And sometimes you just have to really say it extra, you know, extra hard, emphasize it more than you normally would, just because you don't want some confusion. Like for instance, um, between 1014 and 1040, um, that's almost 30 minutes. That's like 25 minutes. And um, I can remember waiting after school for mother. And I don't know which one of us got confused, but one of us got confused. And I got scared and I started walking home. 
and it was miles. I don't remember how far it was, but it was miles. And, um, and then my dad went and passed me too. <laughs> of course, he wasn't expecting me, but um, it was just nobody cares, you know, that kind of a feeling. So it's really important to um, be sure. And if you have to ask uh, another time, don't feel bad about it, do it. Okay, then in C, you're going to have uh, play track 18. And this is the same track as in your workbook. So it's, it's the one that goes in here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so that's the one that you're going to be using in this book. I would, okay. And that's, and you, so you can use that anytime. You don't have to okay. do it just uh, when we do it in class. You can do it anytime in between to um, get your work done in between. And then you have it as a backup to help remind yourself um, about some of the details. Okay. Now the other book, um, those CDs are expensive, like $75 for the set. So um, that's not something we expect you to buy. We buy those and then use them over and over and over. And believe me, sometimes they get overly used. All right, so I'm going to play then part C and just like before, I'll play it through twice. Mm -hmm. And if you have a, a question after twice, I can stop in the middle, but I can't find a certain spot in the Ms. middle. Ms. Wanda? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me, one, let me one second mm -hmm. for Concepcion. Okay. Ah, Concepcion, ella dice que en el libro atrás hay un CD que nosotros podemos usar en cualquier momento. En el mismo libro que estamos trabajando, al final está un CD amarillo uh -huh. y que lo podemos usar para escucharlo en cualquier momento. Oh, ok, gracias. Sobre todo fuera de clase. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss Wanda. <laughs> well, thank you, Juana, because I didn't um, recognize that she did miss it. She's just having some problems tonight, so we need to be extra special careful that she doesn't miss anything. So thank you for noticing that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to read, uh, listen to track 18. They're on the bottom of page 28. Page 28, exercise C. Listen, write the times you hear. One. What? Time is your English class. It's from 9.15 to 1.15. Two. What time is your break? It's from 11.15 to 11.45. Three. What time is your math class? It's from 12.30 to 4. 4. What time is your break? It's from 2 to 2.20. 20. Page 31. Okay, Exercise. Let me play it again. Funny. One time it's easy to work and another time it's not. So hold on.
Okay, here we go. Page 28, exercise C. Listen, write the times you hear. One. What time is your English class? It's from 9.15 to 1.15. Two. What time is your break? It's from 11.15 to 11.45. Three. What time is your math class? It's from 12.30 to 4. Four. Four. What time is your break? It's from <coughs> 2 to 2.20. <coughs> okay, do you need me to play it again? I'm not getting a yes from anybody. So I'm going to assume that we don't need to play it again. Okay, so... Um, Lena, what's number one? What, uh, what time you class? It is from 9.15 to 1.15. Okay. And just, just be careful, 15 and 50, just, just. 15 work it and making them very Sitting. clear okay and so number two nancy it's from 11 15 to 11 45. is that right everybody all huh? right number three juana uh it's from 12 30 to 2 4. Is that right, everybody? I have difficulty with this. I'm sorry, could you repeat? I have difficult with this, with the number three. Okay. The, well, 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 well. I'm having difficulties all the way around, but let's see if I can get it a piece of paper up here. And um, Nancy, no estamos hablando de doce y media a dos con cuatro minutos. Es que por eso es que se me hizo difícil poder identificarlo. <laughs> no, yo yo creo que así fue lo que dijo. <laughs> Did one I help you? No. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, um, she told that it's difficult to listen uh, the number. Uh, confused. Mm -hmm. I have confused uh, four, four, uh, four, four. <laughs> the time core, what is the time core for number three? Two thirty to four o'clock. Two thirty. Very okay. Four o'clock. Okay. <laughs> Juana, yo escucho más o menos igual que tú. <laughs> Entonces, ¿cómo es lo correcto? Doce y treinta y cuatro. Doce y treinta a cuatro. Ah, okay. Okay, porque yo lo tenía igual que tú, eh. <laughs> Twelve, thirty, fifty, mm -hmm. two, four. Okay. Two, four. Miss mm -hmm. okay. uh, we listen uh, other other thing. Okay, but you think you've got it straight? <clears throat> the thing of it is, these are the things that can be important in your job. Mm -hmm. If meeting your husband at the bus, you know, all sorts of important things. So, um, um, it, it, it sounds like a little thing, 
but um, 12.30 and 12 o'clock, that's 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other questions or problems? The, the confusion is in the second, the second, the second number, right? I think two, four minutes. The cortex is four hours, you know? Okay, right. It's, it's <laughs> two meaning um, going from one place to another. And she's thinking two as in one, two. Mm -hmm. and, yes. And it's English for you. <laughs> it was just crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It makes it, it makes it confusing. Mm -hmm. And the, the crazy thing is, you know, I grew up with him, but I still think it's confusing. <laughs> yes. No, it, it's fine. Thank you so much. Okay. So it's clear. Every, everyone understand? Mm hmm all right the thing of it is i don't want us to keep moving and someone be lost that's not helpful we need to take everyone with us and everyone needs to know what's going on and if you don't ask if you don't say hey there's a problem i won't know Mm -hmm. I am uh -huh. terrible at reading minds. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done well reading minds from the very beginning. Okay, now on page 29, uh, we're still in the workbook. 29. And let's look at the um, chart. This tells when the various parts of the school are open, like when the cafeteria is open, when the school itself is open, mm -hmm. the computer lab, the office, the library, the bookstore, all of these different things are open. And you notice that um, they have a uh, starting time and on all of them, the starting time is a.m. And on all of them, the closing time is p.m. Well, this doesn't necessarily have to be true. Um, uh, let's say that the computer lab, or let's, yeah, let's say the computer lab for some reason is closed in the morning. It could just open at one o'clock in the afternoon. And that would still be a valid time. So it would say 1 p.m., 1 o'clock p.m. instead of the 10.45, uh, 10.15 a.m. So look at the times these different things are open and then read the statements underneath there. There's six statements. There's six places. And um, if it's true in the chart, then it's a yes. If it's not true in the chart, the answer is a no. No. I'm ready. Is everyone else ready? Yeah. Um, some people may have time during the week to um, work on it. And then some people don't. They just have very limited time. So I don't want to assume that everyone's ready when they're not. So please tell me if you're not ready. OK. So um, Nancy, what's number one? The cafeteria is open at 11 a.m. Yes. Okay. Yes. And Juana, number two. 
Uh, the school is open from 7 a.m. to 8.30 8 p.m. No? No. When does it close? The, the close is at uh, 7, 7 p.m. So uh, it doesn't stay open as late as this indicates. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now um, Concepcion number three. The computer lab is open uh, at 10 a.m. No. When does it open? It's open at uh, the 10.15. Okay. And number four, Lena? The office is open from 7 and to 4.30. No. Okay, what, what time is it open? No. What time is it actually open? It gives you the time there. Mm -hmm. And and what time does the, the chart say? What mm -hmm. time does it, does it open in the morning? No. no. The office is open office. seven thirty. Okay. Two four thirty. Okay. No, no seven. So uh, it's not open at seven o'clock. No, no it seven. Open until seven thirty. Uh, seven thirty. Okay. Okay. And then number five, Nancy. The library is open at 3.30 p.m. No, open 11 mm -hmm. p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is confusing. If you're going to a store that is open over a period of time from 11 in the morning until 5 30 at night then would it be open at 3 30. okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes let me keep okay también ahí. that's the yes. question it's asking mm -hmm. and honestly it is confusing but does everyone understand mm -hmm. during Morning, the time night. That it's open. It's open from eleven p.m. and it doesn't close until five thirty p.m. Then at three thirty p.m. it does have to be open. Yes, it doesn't have to be open at um, three thirty-five. I mean four thirty-five. But at mm -hmm. 3 30, it does have to be opened. Okay. So it's yes. a little bit confusing there. Okay. Now then, um, number six. Who is it? Uh, Juan, is it your turn? Uh, the, the bookstore is open from 9 15 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yes, it's open. Okay. Any question? Now, let's say that you had to get a book and you got there at 12.05. Sorry, they don't have to let you in. <laughs> Someone's nice, they might, but sometimes they won't. I I think had them happen. Okay. I Any questions? No. no. All right. Next, you're going to write sentences. Excuse me here. All right. So it gives you the information that goes into your sentence and you write the sentence. 
and use that same um, method of forming the sentence as you see uh, do done in part D. What? Ms. Wanda, yes. when I tell, I say the time to begin and the time to end, always use from time to time. Yes. The, the word from? From. From to? Is the beginning and to is the end. Okay. And when use a uh, only one time, use at. Okay. That's right. So if you get that part, then you should get it all right because it all just falls into place. You know what goes in each one of those little lines. They don't try to make it intentionally hard. They try to make it intentionally easy, but challenging. You know, not so easy that you feel like you haven't done anything, but then on the other hand, not so hard that you feel like you can't do anything. It's, it's a balance there that they try to get. And there are times when they do it very well. And like anything, mm -hmm. humans are humans yeah. and sometimes they mess up. So we just forgive them and go on. At least they're willing to do it for us. All right. Me too. Hmm.
Concepcion, are you finished? Yes. Okay, Lena, are you finished? Are you finished? Okay, Lena, are you finished? Are you what? finished? Are you finished? One number. Ha have you done it all? You have two. Si ya terminó. Estoy en eso, me falta una. <laughs> ah, no. Me falta una. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Ya vi. Ok. She is yes. ready. Yes. Ok. The thing of it is, everyone's important. So we don't want someone to feel pushed or rushed because we want everyone to do their best. All right. So I believe, Juana, if you're number one. Um, number one is the li library. 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 Library is open at nine o'clock. Okay. Everyone have that? So, mm -hmm. Concepcion, number two. Um, my, bre my break is from on the Two o'clock uh, on the on the two on the two. Oh, wow. uh, two twenty. On the two twenty. Two twenty. 20. That's right. Um, is it a lot different than in Spanish? Veinte. Well, as far as the word itself is different, veinte is, is 20. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the construction of the sentence, I was thinking that it was very similar. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it shouldn't be confusing. Could someone try to find out what... Concepcion, why are you a little bit on the confused side? ¿Cuál es tu la confusión, Concepción? ¿Qué te confunde? Ya pregunta qué es lo que te está confundiendo. Oh, no, es que como eh, lleva um, dos um, y luego es tú y luego otra vez dos veinte. Oh, como se me trabó y... She tell the difficult is the half two, number two, continue. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and sometimes just knowing what the problem is helps us to find the solution easier. So anything we can do to help, hmm. let us know. Okay, so now number three, Lima. Number three, the cafeteria is open from seven to three. Okay, and number four, Nancy. My computer class starts at 4.30. Okay. And number five, Juana. The office is open at 11.30. At 11 yes. Okay. And number six, mm -hmm. Concepcion. My, 
My English class is from on the 10th, on the 2, on the 12th, 2-12. Yes. yes. All right, and number uh, eight, Lena. Um, the computing lab is open from eight to 11. Okay, and number eight, Nancy. My break is over at three o'clock. Okay, any questions, anybody? No, for me. So now back to the other book. Well, actually, we haven't started in the other book yet tonight. So it's page 48. 48. Now, we did this page um, last time, but we might as well just start here and then keep moving forward. The, what, what page, please? 48. 48. The 48 work last time, right? That's right. We did 48 and 49. Mm -hmm. and went on and, and did a little bit of the workbook, but not much. So we're going to go over these two pages now. It should be for, pretty quick. And then we'll do 50 and 51 before we go back to the workbook. That okay. No, I don't always make sense, so ask me. <laughs> and it seems like right now I'm making any even less sense than normal. Okay, so at the top it says lesson two, talk about class schedules. So that's when things are. Like for instance, here it's talking about in a school um, so that might be your children's school. It also might be work. Um, maybe where you work, you have to um, punch a time clock. You don't just uh, write it down on a piece of paper, but you have to um, use a time clock. So um, also the idea of starting at a certain time is from and then ending at a certain time is two. So we're going to go over these. Okay, A, read the sentences, draw the hands on the clocks. So number one, um, how do you indicate on that clock face that uh, it's nine o'clock? What does it? What does that mean? The manecilla. The hands. Okay. Manecilla. <laughs> what is the hand? Manecilla. Manecilla. Okay. The short. The short is the name is. The short is the hour. Yes. What What is the name? The short arrow. Well, you have it there. <laughs> Okay, my answer, my question is, what is the name, the short arrow, uh, la flecha? <laughs> yeah, the hour hand. Okay, hour hand. Both, if the name is our hand, no. The long hand is the minute hand. Okay. So the short hand is the hour hand. The longer hand is the minute hand. And the one that goes all the way around every minute is the second hand. Okay. Is it minute hand, hour hand, and second hand. Okay.
So which hand would be um, on the clock? Which hand would be pointing to the nine? Um, our hand in number nine. Yes. Minute hand in number 12. Yes. Okay. Okay. So on number two, Taka's class is over at 1230. So how would the hands be pointing? Again? Okay. Uh, our hand in the 12 is a minimum hand in the number six. That would be six o'clock. No. Lo dijiste al revés. The other way. Our, okay. Our hand is in 12. The minu hand is in the number six. Is correct or no? Okay, okay, yes, that's right. I told you I'm a mess, I'm useless. Okay. So let's go on to um, part B. And this is the, the man and the woman are talking about the class. Part A says, what time is your English class? Part B says, it's from 9 to 12.30. Part A says, what time is your break? Part B says, it's from 1045 to 1115. Nancy, mm -hmm. porque estamos trabajando en la misma página, otra vez. Porque ella está repasando. Oh, OK. Gracias. It's fine, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I find if one person has a question, more have a question, they just don't ask. Okay. So, um, Juana, you be part A, and Concepcion, you be part B. They're under section B, the uh, conversation. Okay. Uh what time is your English class? It's from um, the night on the two, 12 to 30. 30. What time is your break? It's from on the 10 and the 45 uh, to 12, 15. That second number isn't a 12. So, 11? Oh. 11, sorry. <laughs> okay. 11.50. Okay. So now, um, Concepcion, you'll be the A, and Juana, you'll be B. Okay. okay. What time is your, your English class? It's from 9 to 12.30. What what time is your break? It's from ten forty five to eleven fourteen. Fifteen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a minute can mean the matter between um being there and not missing the <laughs> um, train completely. Okay, so Lena, you be A, and Nancy, you be B. Please repeat. Please repeat. Uh, Lena, you be A. What time is your English class? Okay. What time is your English class? It, it is from 9 to 12. Set. Lena. Okay. Lina, uh, Nancy, explain, no. please. Lina, usted lee las dos A y yo leo las dos B. Ah. 
Okay, okay. okay. What time is your English class? If what time is your break? Okay. Ahora lea usted la respuesta. No, usted la, lee la primera A y yo leo la primera B. Luego okay. Primera Vamos, pues. Segunda A y yo leo la segunda B. Okay. What time is your English class? It's from 9 o'clock to 12.30. Okay. What time is your break? It's from 10.45 to 11.15. So Nancy, UBA and Nancy. Ahora intercambiamos. Yo leo las dos A y usted la, lee las dos B, pero primero usted, yo le pregunto, usted me contesta, luego le pregunto y usted vuelve y me contesta. Ok. What time is your English class? Hello, English class. It, it is from 9 to 12 30. What, okay. What time is your break? It is from 10 40 to Uh, 11 <coughs> uh, Lina Lina uh -huh. hace un momento Miss Wanda nos dijo que cuando está la I con la T y la S solamente tiene que decir it's it's it's, it's. Okay. No, es, no tiene que decir it is no uh -huh. It is. It's. It's. Todo junto. It's. It's. Uh -huh. Así. La T se pierde. Uh -huh. It's. Uh -huh. No. It. O sea, y dice I, T y S juntos. It's. Ah, it is. No. Porque no lo sé decir. No, lo no sé sola, decir. solamente. It. It. No. It. 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 It's. It's. Así. It's. it's. Uh -huh. Ok, it's. gracias Juana. <risa> gracias Juana, lo tengo que practicar. It's. Estamos para ayudarnos, todos nos podemos ayudar. <risa> gracias, gracias Juana, gracias. Thank you Juana. The You're welcome. Is, I need everybody to help me. I'm useless. <risa> right now I'm worse than I usually am. <risa> All right, in part C now, it says, listen again, circle yes or no. If it's in the conversation, it's a yes. If it's not in the conversation, it's a no. I am ready. Lo que estamos haciendo es la letra E, Manis. La C. La C. Pero ya la habíamos hecho, ¿no? Sí, está repasando, sí. Estamos repasando. Sí, la letra C, esta página de hecho se trabajó la semana pasada. Yo no sé si está repasando o se confundió de página. Ok. So, um, Lena, what's number one, please? This is under C. What's number one? 
Lina, la número uno de la letra C. The class start at nine. Yes. Okay, and number two, Nancy. The class is over at 12. No. When is it over? Over is at uh, 12.30. Okay, if you had another class at 12, you'd be messed up. <laughs> okay, and number three, Juana. The break start at 10.45. Yes. Okay, any questions? No question. No. All right. In part E, you use two, uh, true information, except you can put what time our English class is, that it's from 6.30 to 8, but what time is your break? Just make a number. Nobody, nobody. Yeah, no break. Nobody. Did have a no break. hop, no hop. <laughs> yes, at first we did have a break, and um, sometimes the break time would be in the middle of a lesson and different mm -hmm. things like that. So finally, we just said, well, let's just say that. Um, whenever it's necessary, you know, not to be unnecessary, but just whenever it's necessary. And it got to where very few of the classes had breaks. Um, sometimes the people doing their um, uh, high school equivalency would take breaks just because their concentration would be so hard. But um, a lot of times we didn't have real breaks at all. So it's just kind of, you can put any numbers in there. Okay, so Lena, you be a, What? At the bottom, part E, letter A. And Juana, you be part B. Okay. What time your English class? It, it's from 10.30 to 2.30. Two thirty. You have a second question. What? Lina, la segunda pregunta, Lina. La segunda. What time is your break? It's from 12... 14 to 12.45. Okay. So, um, okay, this will be our last time through. Um, Nancy, you'll be A, and Concepcion, you'll be B. Okay. What time is your English class? Is from on the six thirty to eight. What time is your break? What uh, it's it's from on the seven to seven thirty. Okay. Any question on any of that? Nothing. So tomorrow. Next week, we'll start on page 49 in the workbook, in the textbook. That's this one. This mm -hmm. textbook. And um, then, um, let's see. I think the only one that hasn't decided, Concepcion, did you want to have class? On December, what would that be? December 24th and 31st. Do you want class no, or no? Claus. No, que si quieres, que si quieres que tengamos clases el jueves 24 y el jueves 31. No. Eh, Nancy dijo que no, 
Yo mm. dije no. Lina dice no. Concepción dice no. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure because sometimes a person wants to. And I don't, don't want to say, no, you can't. But I want it. I want, he, I'm here for you. I'm not here for me. Pretty much, I sit around and do nothing. <laughs> so, so it doesn't matter to me. It's what's best for you. Um, see you on January 7th, is right? Is Brian in January, January 7? Yes. Now, see, um, let me, sorry, I wasn't thinking. Mm -hmm. Good question. January 7 would be good for me. What about everybody else? Thank That's fine for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. We'll have Maybe. class on yeah. December 17. And then next class on January 7. Uh -huh. Lina. Uh -huh. Que la siguiente clase va a ser en enero 7. Ok. Uh, uh, no próximo jueves. No, no. Porque próximo jueves es 24 de diciembre. Ah, sí. Y el siguiente es 31. Okay. Entonces, este, ella el dice que... El regreso es el 7 de enero. Sí. Ah. Uh -huh. El próximo jueves es 17. Ok. Y hoy... Oiré mi clase desde Venezuela. Sí. <risa> Oíste, oiré mi clase desde Venezuela. ¿Cuándo se... ¿El próximo jueves va a estar en Venezuela? No, el 30. Ah, perfecto. La próxima clase es el 17... Y luego vamos a tener un break 24, 31 y regresamos el día 7. Ok. okay. Yo tendré clase el 7 en Venezuela. De allá la saludaré. Ah, ok. <risa> Lina, Lina, go desearé, to Venezuela. Happy year. <risa> when, when is that that you're going to Venezuela, Lina? Yes. When? Uh, um, 30. ¿Cómo se llama la ciudad de donde va? Caracas. Caracas, Venezuela, Miss Wanda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let us know so we can tell you goodbye before you okay. go. Okay. Happy. Okay. See you next week. Happy vacation. Let's pray for her too. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know that I would want to go traveling at this time. It's just a crazy time. So, <laughs> Lord, take care of her. Okay. Yo tengo que ir obligada porque se me venció el pasaporte. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. okay, Miss Wanda. Have a good night. See you next week. Have, yes, Have thank you. Bye-bye. I'm glad that everybody, Happy Christmas. everybody's uh, equipment worked tonight Happy except Christmas. mine. Mine, I messed up. That's all okay. I Hi. Hi. Bye. 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 Bye.